Hey, St. Louis. I'm Dr. Seuss. Since I was a tiny kid, but apparently... Educators and students. He's the new vice president of... Before we begin, to Sharita and the staff uh, and uh, Terry Kennedy for all their hard work to get us going today. Let's give them all a round of applause. Also, thanks to City TV 10 for all your hard work. It's game time now, so we're going to go back into the bowels and see what we can find and have a lot of fun out here at the 2020 NHL All-Star here in downtown St. Louis. Yeah, I can't see. Footsteps in the footsteps in the dark. Hi, I'm Steve Potter. Welcome to City Corner. Cultural intelligence is a term that you may or may not be familiar with, but our guest is here today to explain why it's important that you do you do know about it and what it can do and how it can impact all of us, really. Amy Narishkin is the CEO of Empowering Partners. Amy, welcome to City Corner. Welcome to the 14th Annual Hispanic Scholarship Alliance Celebration. I'm Gilberto Pinela for STL-TV and your host of this important celebration of the academic achievements of our Latino students in our region. Catering, you can do Catering. wedding, you can do receptions and showers. Carry out, and carry out, a lot of carry out. You can have these now, almost done. Cilantro? Yeah, cilantro. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. And then green onions. Bam, it's so onions. pretty. I think we're using every color in the rainbow today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> green onions. Let's yeah, do this. Is it almost time to eat it, PJ? I'm yes. getting extremely hungry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. I am Angela Hockman, and welcome back to In the Kitchen Home Edition, where we are literally in our own kitchens right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to STL TV for this action packed episode. Today, I am so lucky to welcome the co owner of the only Filipino barbecue in St. Louis. Mr. Darren Young. Hi, Darren. Hey, Angela. You grilling out there? Oh, yes, absolutely. The grill is hot and ready to go. Hey, St. Louis. This is St. Louis City Fire Chief Dennis Jenkerson. Just a quick shout out. I want to thank all of the businesses and all of the individuals that helped the St. Louis Fire Department through these tough times. The, the dinners, the desserts, the food, it has been fantastic. We got a little while to go. Let's keep, let's keep doing what we're doing with the social distancing. It does help. On behalf of the St. Louis Fire Department, thank you again for helping the St. Louis Fire Department. Hey St. Louis, this is Ozzie Smith. This is your boy, Pastor Coach Aeneas of the Spirit Church. Hi, I'm Jackie Joyner Curiesy. Hey St. Louis, this is Larry Hughes. What's going on y'all, this is your boy, Chang Lane. This is a very difficult time for us all. With this coronavirus spreading throughout the world. This is not a joke. This is serious. This is real. People are passing away. We're in this together. We all need to listen to public health officials in order to save lives and protect families. We need for everyone to stay at home, stay on the inside. And hopefully we can make a difference. Stay at home and listen to the health officials. I right, peace. So stay at home, STL. Stay at home, St. Louis. So let's stay home, St. Louis. Stay at home, STL. Stay at home, STL.
Welcome to Let's, 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 let's Get Together. Everybody sing. Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to STL TV series called What to Expect When You're Expecting During COVID-19. Hello everyone, welcome to STL TV. I'm Cassandra Walker. Welcome to our series, Educating Through a Pandemic. St. Louis. This is Carl Strasser. I'm the owner of Kirkwood Pizzeria. We are located at 471 North Kirkwood Road, right across the street from the Alpine Shop. STL TV. I am Andy Rizika with STL TV, bringing you to Care STL to show you just how and where you can get tested for COVID-19. And guess what? I'm gonna get tested. So here we go, let's do this. As ready as I'm ever gonna be. Okay, here we go, we're gonna count. Okay, count for me. Oh Lord. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're done. My dad name is Steve Hudson. Um, he was an assistant dean at a school called Academy for Learning, which is an alternative high school for students that are um, struggling at their main school behavior-wise. And he was also assistant director for Thornwood High School as um, assistant athletic director at Thornwood High School. The George Floyd protests have spread to every state in the United States and span the globe in over 25 countries on every continent. The Black Lives Matter movement started in St. Louis after the Michael Brown shooting in 2014. Today, a few months shy of six years later, the medical community came out with a message calling for change. The 2020 STL TV Jewel Awards Reflection. Um, I don't know what to say. I wasn't expecting this, but I want to thank everybody that was on Close Up's team, especially Vidal, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have kept going. Oh, uh, Simone, are you crying? No. Oh, I was like. So <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not going to sneeze, right? No, no. Oh, okay, whoa. thank you. When I walk into STL TV, I feel like this is um, a family. I, uh, I started out as an intern here uh, back in 2009, um, so I kind of feel like everybody's family here. Um, everyone that comes in, I try to greet with a warm welcome because I remember what it was like starting out as an intern, not knowing anyone and being scared, you know, to touch anything. And I just kind of tell them, like, just jump right in because guess what, you're going to help be the backbone of the station, so. The most beneficial thing? Uh, just learning, you know what I mean? Uh, having the opportunity to learn and also uh, just be put in a position to succeed, I guess. Yeah. 